Hey guys, Spritter here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode. We're in Tiny Tim, our trawling boat, of course. Um, Tiny Tim was a name suggested by uh, Jim Hope. I thought um, it was a pretty good name. You know, something a little bit different. And um, he certainly wouldn't say he's tiny, but he's tiny compared to the other trawling boats that we can actually use. So Tiny Tim sort of fits. So last episode we did a um, time lapse just because of um, weekend at home, family time, family at home and that sort of stuff. So just doing a recording without having to use my voiceover and stuff. So just allows me to do it you know, while the kids and, and, my, and my partner's home and that sort of stuff without having to have um, complete quiet because that never happens. But um, we sold 80,000 kilos to Yarmouth uh, for 629,000. Or 654, but our net income was 629. So now, if we go to our finances, we have over two million dollars. I don't can't see if we can find out our exact amount. Yeah, I'm not sure, but they have just updated the game again um, and updated a lot of stuff in the wiki. So if we go to fish types, uh, we go to Pollock, all year round haddock can be caught from the 1st of June to the 31st of March. Mackerel, 1st of May to October, redfish is all year, the cod should be 1st of December to, i oh, say it's, it's best caught from the 1st of December to the 31st of March, so we may not get any more cod at this point in time, because we're still in September, um, there we go, from the 22nd of April to the 30th of July, so that's changed, that just said April to July I think before, uh, lobster, 22nd of April, uh, 1st of July to 30th of November, so silver hake, 30th of September, which I think we're close to the end of September, aren't we? Yeah, I think um, we're definitely close, so we will actually need to change up what we're doing if we're actually going to go for tuna, because 30th of September is where it finishes. If we have a look at our date, we've got seven days to go. So, we're not going to get any, any cod at the moment, and we've only got seven days to go until we're finished with the tuna season, but we're still out here um, trawling, of course. But one thing I want to know is would you guys like to see me go and skip through to do some lobster fishing or some crab fishing? Um, you guys let me know. Uh, maybe we can do both. Try and get um, the Knots Guilty and then also one of the um, crab boats as well. And um, maybe bring that next episode or the episode after. I don't know. It's up to you guys. You guys let me know in the comment section. Um, I've also changed the autopilot here, so we can actually change it speed. I don't know if we can, no, we can't do it the other way like we used to, but they've changed that as well. Um, actually, wiki, there was something in here, um, fish seasons, no introduction. Fishing tools, they did say something. Um, what's that see? Okay, so position of fish sonar on the boat. Best time to set fishing gear is B. Last chance to set fishing gear is C. That's the depth of the seabed, length of the sonar, um, and F is a zoom in and zoom out, which is fine. Um, they said they did add something about the, the habitats, but I can't see anything in here about habitats at the moment um, nothing in there about habitats nothing in here about habitats as well nope home um, no there's nothing in there about habitats I said they did add information about that but I can't see that anyway let's um uh, where did we go last episode down here didn't we Maybe we should come down in this area. So let's go down to the back of row bank. Definitely buy this boat soon. Now one thing that would be really cool for this game is if we could design our own boat. I mean, I know that's probably not going to happen. But if we could take bits of, um, you know, Knott's Guilty and the other boats and sort of just build our own, that would be pretty bloody cool, I think. Right, so put a marker in here. Autopilot will go three. Now we should be 
deep enough. Yep, definitely 400 and something metres, so let's jump in our trawling seat. Let's turn off the work lights and the interior lights because we don't need those. Let's bring uh, the boys out to set the trawl. We'll put Emma and Pearl relax over here. Emma was cooking for a little while, so we can, we can already set the trawl when they're not even sitting there, which is eh, a good and a bad thing, I guess. Now that is really weird. I'd like to get a screenshot of that then, but it's kind of a little bit hard. Interesting though, the way the water's sort of moving around a bit. So there is some fish down here, and it's a lot deeper than what we're usually fishing in, so it might be a little bit harder for us to actually reel the fish in. If we're, if we're trawling at just 200 metres, it seems that there isn't much of a chance for the fish to get away from us, which makes it a lot easier. But we'll keep an eye on this. So a lot of you guys have said that um, port side is the left side of the boat. Starboard is the right. So port has four letters. Left has four letters. That's how you know. Port and left is the left-hand side. It's actually a bit rough out here again today, isn't it? It is. Not as rough as um, our last episode, but still a little bit rough. Have a look. So there doesn't seem to be a great deal of fish down here. So we'll see how we go. Um, so once again, I can't see through that. I wonder if we're going to get some cod. It is outside of cod season. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. There's a decent amount of fish just here. So if we can pick up this 200 metres away, and it seems like it might be coming towards us. So if we can get these out pretty quick, we may get on this pile of fish here. So what I always do is always make sure we've got one at, say, 105, the other one 115 or so, just to try and get our symmetry um, pretty good. And with the way that the ocean is at the moment, our speed's going to vary quite a bit, you know, from two knots to, you know, four, nearly five knots. So there's not much you can do about it unless you have really calm seas, I suppose. All right, so we'll stop that one there now because we're already catching the fish at the moment. Keep an eye on... Um, how much I've actually got in those nets. We don't want to snap any lines. It costs us about $100,000 when we snap those lines. I've we'll snapped them a few times, so... Yeah, it's quite, quite rough out at sea today. There's some she-gulls flying around. Wait for some food that they're not going to get. Alright, so keep an eye on this. So we should be able to get on these pretty soon, I think. So the symmetry is good. Everything's good when the trawl speed isn't too high like it is now. Seems like the um, doors come together to close a bit. Uh, I wonder if we jump into our seat quickly. Uh, where is it? Up here. Can we drop it back to two knots? Could have done that from our seat using the, the map, of course, but Let's see how we go. Seems to be so that's the clearance from the bottom is 150 something. So there we go. We should be. Well, we ah, oh, well, God, we're not. Go, go, reel out. It's not reeled out. That's why. Okay, now we should be smashing the fish now. All right, there we go. Let's start to reel it in as quick as we can. All right, as soon as it gets below 100, turn that off. Ah, so one snapped and the other one snapped. Oh, well that was a great start. Face palm. All right, so let's um get rid of this and let's head back to port and fix up our trawling lines. Yay! I think, I really do think they snap too easy. Especially with this smaller boat, like it's 
Uh, dock, rigging, no. Maintenance. Oh, here we go. Repair trawl gear, 100,000. Unbelievable. Alright, let's see if we can get some more tips. Um, had it from three days ago. Mackerel, we can't fish, so don't worry about it. Oh. What did we find? The sharky and something. Does that mean that we're at oh, 37 and 39, so we haven't unlocked everything yet, but. Okay, so where did we unlock. There you go, Haddock three days ago. Uh, we might head down here then. So let's go to La Havre Bank, and then we'll head down there. Alright, straight down to here. Like that. What I pilot to say here. Let's see how we go with it. The fish are going that way or not, I don't know. Alright, so let's turn on some lights. Bring the boys out to set the trawl. Like that. And then we can go set. Dan's hope that there's a decent amount of fish around. The only thing I have a problem with is um, well, some, still some cod in the area. Because it's 2.2 kilometres deep below us. It's going to make it a little bit harder to trawl. It's not going to be... Not going to be that hard, to be honest, but it might take us a bit longer to fill our boat with looking at this, because there's a lot more spots, and they're a lot deeper. Let's see if we can get this here. 150 metres away. We may be lucky to get that. Alright, they're all done, so they can all return. Return over there. I don't think it really matters where we set them. Let's have a look. Um, stacking and freezing. You're not either, so let's go put you there as stacking. Josh can go as a freezer. Eric can go as a freezer. And we'll put Victor as a stacker as well. Just because stacking is quite a hard job and those guys got the most stamina I guess so that's probably going to help alright let's keep an eye on our screen here what is going on with our autopilot autopilot on two knots please not 700 knots I don't know what the autopilot's doing obviously it's not doing the right thing and slow the boat down. Wonder if it's um the waves might be pushing us a little bit. I right, so 3.9 knots was the fastest we went just then. Right, so it's still a little bit too quick. It doesn't matter which way we're driving, we can just let the boat go. We don't need to have the autopilot on, to be honest. Alright, so 138 meters. So is that, I think that's from the top of the screen, or is that from, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's um, fix you, 115-ish, might reel it back in a little bit. Right, fix you there. And then fix you about there, so the symmetry should be okay. Why is the distance an issue now? That's the distance between the doors, so I don't understand why that's an issue. I mean, we are going backwards at times, so we'll put a little bit more speed in it. Keep an eye on this. Yeah, that's better. We're not going backwards now. So maybe they're too close or too far apart? I don't know. So even though we've tied our lines off, they still seem to be going like crazy. It's one thing we've got to be careful of. This makes it so easy to snap the lines otherwise. So that looks pretty good as far as the symmetry goes. 
There we go, we're getting some fish in now. Not much, but we had a little bit. Alright, keep a close eye on how the net is going, the total catch. Oh, I just want to reel them both in a little bit. Because it seems to be catch is a little bit higher than we are, so we can start to reel these in. But see, it just doesn't seem like it's reeling them in. Ah, that's because we're reeling them out, not in. Now it's reeling in. That would help, wouldn't it? Alright, so that's definitely back on the fish where we were before, but we still need to reel it in that little bit more. So remember, I think in uh, Barrett C you should just press E and it would cycle through the three. So out, hold, in, hold, out sort of thing. So this is a little bit easier if you remember which way the buttons are. So E's out, R's to hold, T's to reel in. Just um, not on the fish again at the moment. So let's tie off these again. See how they go. Our trawl speed, we're going backwards again because now we've got a little bit of extra weight in those nets. Right, so we're back on the fish a little bit. We've only got one out of the possible nine, but I don't care if it does it slow. As long as we're you know, getting some fish in those nets, that's the main thing. That needs to go back out again. thought that was lightning then. Alright, there we go. Let's just let that out a little bit more. Keep an eye on it. Let that go out a little bit more. Alright, tie that off. So we've got, what, maybe 40%, so maybe 20,000 kilos. So we'll see how we go. We'll keep an eye on this little this little patch here, if we don't get anything more off this, we'll just reel it in and see how we go. Um, let's change our view and have a look at our sonar. There's definitely plenty of fish in this area. Just not on them at the moment. Um, reel in a little bit. Same with you. Going backwards again, so let's put a little bit more speed into it. Right, we'll stop going backwards, keep it on that speed. It's probably easier to have the autopilot going, but it just seemed like it was taken off for some stupid reason. No, I think we've missed that lot of fish, so let's um, just reel this in. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just reel it in. Let's um, throw our autopilot on. We're like not even straight at all, but it doesn't matter. Uh, get the guys back out. Oop, wrong side, but that's fine. We're going to swoop them over like that. It's easy done. So it's not going to be full, but I think we need to go back to the shallower area. It just makes it a whole heap easier for us to do the trawling then. So we get this reeled in, and then we'll, um, I think we'll move over to where we were before. It's a little bit, where were we, like, in here? It's definitely shallower in there, where we need to go. So this should get below, it says below 25 metres, but I think when it's about 16 or 17 is when it usually lets us haul it in properly. Right, so they're both 25. See, we can't haul in just yet. So if we wait, so 20 and 17. 16 and 13, there we go. Makes a difference. I don't think it's both below 25, like it says. So get this reeled in. 
Still looks like a decent amount, but it's probably not as full as the last one was, that's for sure. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, so, fish were lost, so we caught that, but because hot cod's not in season, it was lost. Which is something they did say would happen, but I didn't think that it would happen after you caught it. I just think we'd have less of a chance to catch it. I don't know. Alright, let's um switch switch these guys over. We'll throw out a trawl. And um So we're only well, four hundred and something meters, so there's still decent depth, but not, you know, massive kilometers deep, I guess. Doesn't seem to be a lot in the area. Guess we'll just have to wait. See, the boat's still going way too bloody fast at times. Alright, we'll keep an eye on these guys. Once they're done, we'll move them back. Okay, Josh, Derek, Rudy and Victor can all go back. Thank you, lads. Looks like he's going to be stuck there, isn't he? Yep. I thought they'd fix these bugs, but... As you know, once you fix, you know, 10 or 20 other bugs, you sometimes bring in 50 to 100 more, fortunately. Let's have a look at our um, radar. I'm seeing absolutely nothing in this area at the moment. What sort of boat is that? Looks like a little Lenore, a little selfie or something over there. Keep this tiny Tim moving along. I don't even know why we have the searchlight. It doesn't. Oh, there we go. I forgot that I had it pointed backwards. It's pretty pointless though, isn't it? The searchlight sometimes. Right, so I still haven't seen any fish in the area yet. Let's hope we're starting to come towards them a little bit. Symmetry is still way out. Our speed is still going too quick. So I can't see how far that away away that is. So starboard door is our right door. So we could potentially turn right. Try and get onto that. Um, I know we just do that and see what happens. See if it heads towards it enough. So once our doors go out, we go with rod fish already. Right, so hold you at 105. Hold you at 115. When it gets there, right, I'm going to reel you in a little bit. Want to keep it close. There we go. We'll just go along with that. You're gonna oh, okay. Go out. You can go in a little bit. So there's a fine line between getting it in the right spot and not getting it in the right spot. Right. Hold you and hold you again. Not perfect symmetry, but. Not too bad either. Just hope we can get maybe some of this when we get a bit closer to it. Or should we look at turning sharper this way? Like this, because maybe we did actually turn enough to get a hold of this little pile. Right, I need to keep an eye on this. I don't think we're going to be able to pick it up too much. It takes a while for the net to swing around behind us too, so... So I don't think we're going to head back in with a full... a full boat, but... Won't be too bad. 
how it goes. It still hasn't quite turned yet. Let's put it back to down here. Uh, jump out of this seat. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's better. Can't really turn our neck around to have a look at those other screens. We'll see how we go for another couple of minutes if we can get some of this in the boat. I'll be happy, but we may not be able to get onto it quick enough. So the clearance between the bottom and our net is 127 metres. So we may be able to get onto this stuff. Maybe close. Just still keep an eye on this um, this line here. Still want to keep it reasonably close if I can. As soon as you go below 100 or 99, it stops catching fish, even if you're on it perfectly. So that's going to help us. Uh, let's move this this way again. Try and bring um, this back into the center of the screen. If we can. Oh, there we go. We're on some fish. Just start to reel in. Come on, hurry up, get below. Don't want to snap those wires again. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, thank God for that. Now stay there. Oh, you need to stop. Stop, my friend, stop. Yes, reel it in. We're not catching anything, which is good, but... So the problem I've found now is if we're going backwards, it doesn't seem to want to reel it in. It's one thing that I've noticed. See, now we're catching fish again. I don't want to be catching fish. If I shut the boat down completely, I don't think it's going to reel it in. I guess we just stop moving and let it reel it in and hope it doesn't pick up any more because it's still saying we're catching fish. Now nah, there it goes. Again. Uh, see, this is what frustrates me. You're reeling it in, you need to stop the boat, but then it pulls the boat backwards and it goes further out. Oh, I think I've had enough of trawling with this boat, to be honest. Um, yeah. Very, very frustrating. Uh, let's just go... Well, I guess we'll see what we've got most, on, most of on the boat. Um, redfish and haddock, I guess. But redfish and haddock. 425, 288. Oh, yeah. Dennis Point is probably better. That's where we were going, wasn't it? Dennis Point? Yeah, we'll go straight to Dennis Point. But um, what I might do, guys, is I might actually just head straight through. I might just do some lobster fishing next episode. Um, skip through till April and um, go from there because it's just frustrating me with this boat at the moment. So, um, oh shit, that's right. We need to process our fish, don't we? Uh, well, that would help. Um, freeze, stack... Wait till everybody starts working. Eventually. Come on, Rudy. Oh, Rudy, Rudy. That's right, because he's stuck, isn't he? Right, let's just go through, like, I don't know, 12 hours. That'll do. Um, you can move. we still got fresh fish on. I don't think so, or do we? Jesus, still got fresh fish on after 12 hours. Um, so Victor's tired. You can have something to eat. Um, wrong seat again. Sit in this seat before he's past time. Let's go four hours. Derek's too tired. Right, you girls are done. Actually, Josh is tired. Go back there. You can go back there. You can go back there. That all done? I think it's all done. 
Alright, there we go. Now we can sell our fish. This has changed a bit too. Support reputation. Um, everything is up pretty high. Total revenue is 72,000. Um, but, you know, it's... Yeah. We've snapped that, so let's forget about that for now. Let's go... Crew on board. Let's rest everyone at the crew house. Let's go dock. Shipyard available. Not skilled to isn't here. That's fine. Let's change back to the Snarset. And I'm going to go sell you. Just because I... I don't want to have to deal with it right now. A bit frustrating. Uh, bank. Repay. Pay off both those loans. Borrow a little bit more, which is fine. Um, let me have a quick look and see where the Not Guilty is. I'll quickly go and grab it. Uh, not Guilty is Ingle's Head. Which I think... Yeah, we know. Oh, so it won't even let us leave without it. Okay. Uh, crew. Crew house. Oh, pop bait and setting and sorting. I think Emma's the best at all of that, isn't she? Pearl's good at setting. Okay. Bring you and Emma along. Just because we can. Right, let's head to... So Ingle's head is up here, isn't it? Yep. Straight up here. So we'll buy the Knots Guilty. Uh, upgrade it as much as we can. Buy. There we go. No. Uh, sufficient gear. Buy bait. Buy all that. Um, small pots. 100,000. Dock. Uh, upgrades. I don't know if we need the storage yet, but we'll get it just in case. And the engine. Uh, the radar. Probably don't need it as much. Autopilot we will probably need. Don't need the quota. The sonar. I don't know. I don't think we need the best one. Whatever. We'll get it anyway. Um, we get the good boys in case we're coming up at night time. Searchlight is good. And the thrusters. Yeah, we'll get the thrusters too. Why not? There we go. Um, rigging, upgrade, shipyard, maintenance. We don't need any of that stuff. So, right out, guys. We'll come back next episode and we'll do some um, lobster fishing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know which um, crab boat we should buy. And um, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bredo, thanks for watching. See you again soon.